Thank you. I'll give the floor to Madame Bourges from EFTD. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, in several places, the report refers to the mobility of workers. Um, so I'd just like to be honest first and say, can we please give it that its proper name, which is actually open door immigration. Um, it's not what the British people want. Uh, they want an Australian-style points-based system with the allocation of work permits and visas based upon the skills uh, that we need. Um, I am pleased to see in paragraph 23 the issue of skilled workers from third countries being raised. Um, Mr Cameron has now pretty much banned uh, skilled workers we may actually need from uh, coming into the UK from countries like India, for example, but he's happy to give free access to 450 million people across Europe, uh, access to jobs and the UK uh, welfare system. Now, in paragraph 10 and 22, you talk about Eures. Now, this piece of legislation will advertise more UK jobs across the EU than ever before, and it will encourage employment agencies to hunt through this portal for cheap foreign workers, rather than giving British people the first crack of the whip. Now, it also expands the range of jobs offered to apprenticeships and work experience placements. Now, it's difficult enough for young people to find work without any potential jobs being offered to millions of people abroad. And I would briefly highlight Amendments 228 and 342, uh, calling for an EU minimum wage. Um, how on earth would you go about implementing this when there's such disparity in income across Europe? I mean, it's very easy for MEPs to sit and dream up wish lists uh, in order for one day to create this EU super state that you all want, but um, you have no responsibility or power to initiate legislation, and, an e uh, and it would be an economic disaster, an economic disaster for the EU to impose a minimum wage. Thank you. <laughs> 